All right, hello and welcome. I'm Gary Simon of designcourse.com and today I'm doing another random letter low design practice technique video. And so the idea behind this is I'm going to generate a random letter by clicking this link and then immediately after it shows up, I'm going to verbally announce the first noun that begins with that letter that comes to mind. And the idea is to then open up Adobe Illustrator and try to combine both of the ideas in or the the noun into that actual letter in some unique way. So this is just an interesting way to try to get some practice with uh, logo design and letter mark design specifically. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So H hair hair. Okay, well, we got to do it. So I uh, yeah, let's open up Illustrator here. All right, H and hair. I'm just going to make this H. And something that fits this resolution is 850 by 600. I only know that through trial and error. Um, I'm just going to leave it RGB, raster effects, 72. And hit OK. All right, so hair. And I'm going to do a capital H and a lowercase h. And kind of just go through some of the fonts that I have. So. If I take this up here, just use my down arrow key and go through some of these, I can try to come up with a way or a font that seems like it might be suiting for a, a specific idea that I may have, which I don't kind of quite yet. So you know, when we think about hair and, and, and how it flows, obviously it's going to have to be longer hair. I to think of a way to really get both of the ideas in there, uh, showing that it's an actual H of some short, sort and also have hair that's visible or some type of hair form. So, you know, one of these script fonts would obviously probably be most ideal, but I think I may want to make it a little bit more simplistic than something that's crazy as shown here. So, um, let's see here. I think I want to make this, uh, the, use a font that's probably more whimsical, but not too crazy like this. Um, so, you know, when we think of hair, get out the pen tool here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just thinking out loud and just drawing without any, without too much sense or purpose right now. And also, by the way, I could, instead of doing this, I, uh, this is just a tip that I should have used. Holding shift, left click, drag, come out. And then if you want to achieve this effect, instead of having to manually, you know, go back through here, you can select the direct selection tool. Oops, select it rather, and then get rid of the fill, give it a stroke, keep it at black and we'll give it some thickness, but we'll change the variable width profile by using one of these profiles here, just like this one. So you can see that it, at the beginning of it and at the end, it fades off. And so increase this size, kind of just like that. And see, like mine was not perfect up here, it's different. So yeah, just a quick tip there. Uh, so yeah, getting back to this, just trying to think about, you know, how to best illustrate this idea of hair into an H. You know, if it was something like a T or an I, it would, it would be much more easy, but we got this, uh, you know, the other portion of the H that needs to be shown through here in some way. And so I don't want to try to do it in a way that just looks good and flows well, because that's what usually hair does. You know, it's gravity takes effect and makes it uniform, right? So, but then we got this thing we have to push up here. Oh man. Okay. So uh, let me get rid of this real quick. By the way, I want to show you another tip just because I, I, was, I did that. Um, when you take these and you scale them up when you have a stroke, you scale them all the way up, you can see it didn't scale the actual stroke as well. The way you could fix that is by going to Window Transform to bring up the Transform panel, and then go to Select both of your objects, and you'll see it says Scale, Strokes, and Effects. So if you turn that on and then scale it, it scales 
the stroke as it needs to based on how your, your size that you need. So that's just a quick tip right there. All right, so I'm gonna close that out. Okay, so hair, okay, so let's see if we can do something similar here. I'm just gonna duplicate that. I might try adding uh, Hmm. Oops. Temporarily or real quickly, I'm just going to go to object path and outline stroke. I'm going to make the foreground color white. 45 degree angle. I'm just going to hold shift and left click up here for that for the angle. And then take Actually, take both of these, go to Window Pathfinder. All right, and then take this and these and subtract front. Ah, dang it. Let me do this real quick. I'm just going to duplicate that. Okay, now it's transparent here. All right, let me see here. Let me close this out. I just kind of wanted to see what this idea looked like. Um, this is obviously in lowercase h. Not too sure if I like it. Honest to be just you know, to be one hundred percent honest with you. Eh. All right, so I'm not I'm not I'm not too satisfied with this. So I just want to take this one over here, and maybe just work with a possibly a different idea. So um, try a different approach. Maybe try to uh, approach it from the idea of it being capitalized. So so this certainly looks a little bit more like hair. Being that there's a lot more, well, there's two more strands, not a lot more, I could say. Um, so how would we get an idea of an H in here? Well, just for the fun of it, I'm going to uh, get this for this, make that foreground white, get the ellipse tool, I'll shift and alt here in the center. No. Uh, real quickly, I want to see what this looks like. Actually, let me delete that. No, that looks like crap. Okay, so let me try this real quickly. I'm going to, all right, here's what I'll do. I'll take the add anchor point tool. And we'll end it right here and here. And then delete this top one. Oops, wrong one, damn it. There we go. Take down this size a little bit. And delete this one and then do the same thing over here. Getting rid of those. All right, work with me. I, I'm, I'm, I have an idea, damn it. So I just, I just, I think I'm gonna have to work with these a little bit more. So you don't want these too thin. 
what is that three and four? I'm getting somewhere slowly. Hopefully this isn't too painfully boring for you. Um, so let me, let's see here. All right, I think what I wanna do instead is I, I'm gonna delete this one, take this and just pull it up, you know, get it back down to four. And we wanna maintain the same profile except we're gonna use the add anchor point at a different height right here and here. So I added two, I'm gonna delete the top and bottom. All right, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this one over here. Make it four. And add anchor point tool, maybe higher, slightly. Delete the endpoints with the direct selection tool. And do that again. Maybe even lower. Just changing up the uh, height on these. Ugh, I don't really like that one. Kind of looks funky and it doesn't. Maybe it's the width. No, it's not. Yeah, I think what we'll do is just back up several times and I will just slightly change this one just so it's not the same as the one on the right. We'll make this one longer than the one to the left of it. Yeah, I don't, it's, I still do not like this. Yeah, I think it, making that small adjustment right there kind of helped. I think that's better. That small one was just being thrown off because it kind of looked like a straight line because it was so small. So uh, moving, just sticking with the longer ones in the center here seems to make a little bit more sense. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's much better. Now this kind of kind of looks like an A, uh, an S possibly, but yeah. If you put some text next to it in a font that's similar or a script font of some sort, like hair, A-I-R, you can definitely tell it's an H from that standpoint. Uh, so let me, I think I wanna work with this just a tad bit more. And so I think what I wanna do is uh, in the middle, I'm gonna connect everything using a pen tool. So. What we'll do is I, with the pen tool, I'll just left click, left click again, hold down and drag out just a tad bit, and then come back up here. Left click again on this right side of the hair and do the same thing over here. And if you mess up, you just always just control Z that. And then come down here. And do the same thing. Mm, I did a little bit too much on that one. There we go. And by the way, this is like a pure black and it's not matching up with these colors. So if I uh, drag this right here and then select these four, get that and get those matched up to the same black color. 
All right, so that's a little bit better. Uh, kind of making it look like there, the hair is all connected, but there's like highlights. I think another thing I could do is take both of these, um, hit Control C, Control F, and that duplicates them. And then take the copies that are currently selected and make them white strokes, but take down the stroke width. Yeah, right around there looks pretty good. And then what I can do is take the add anchor point tool and you know we can see that there's like a dark spot right here going through so maybe there's a, a highlight going through here in this portion so what I mean by that is I can add an anchor point yeah we can leave it right here the one in the middle and then one just right down there delete the top one right there all right and then do the same thing for this one as well so add an anchor point and delete the other two with the direct selection tool. And then of course, we can do the same thing and create ones for the top versions. And I just eye drop it so we can get that same width and color. And then take the add anchor point tool and right there and there, delete that and then delete this. And then finally, the same thing for this and, eh, might make it end sooner. And delete, delete, and delete. Actually, you know what? I want to make those shorter real quickly. So I'm just adding an anchor point right there so that the stroke will end a little bit higher. Actually, you know, I kind of like the fact that these are these two are different slightly, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna do the same thing to this one down here, like that. There we go. All right, so now to give it some um, texture or color, we can um, first let me get this situated here. Get like a faint yellow for the foreground. Okay, maybe this is symbolizing a blonde or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, layers. And then go ahead also and uh, let's scale this up. And then we'll get this to our, drag this guy over here. Take these four and change, change them to that. That'll work better. There, there is our stylized hair, the letter H designed in hair. Okay. so. Hopefully you guys thought that was entertaining. Probably didn't. You probably, maybe two people may be listening to this still because they fell asleep. But uh, anyhow, yeah. So, yep, that is it. Uh, as always, check out designcourse.com slash premium where if you join up for a very small monthly fee, there's no obligations. You can quit within the first month if you wish. Uh, you can get one-on-one -on -one training with me to become a better designer, and that's through Mentor. You can watch the Visual Identity Design course, which covers all things logo design and just handling the image of a business. And then Wise Banner here is also something that I created, which is a Photoshop banner maker, which is a set of actions, scripts, and, and template files. So yes, check that out. Uh, check out the forums. It, they're somewhat decently active. Uh, there's a chat down here that I'm in most of the time and yeah we launched design challenges and all that good stuff so subscribe here on youtube and i will shut up now all right goodbye